What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the video, this is not going to be beauty related or fashion related. This is sort of like a random video, but I wanted to film it anyways because I've been seeing this type of video roaming around on YouTube for quite some time. And I went to the Philippines last summer and I haven't been there since I came to America. So. It's been about 11 to 12 years since I've been to the Philippines and I thought it would just be a really fun idea to tell you guys 10 weird differences between the United States and the Philippines. So if you guys want to know the 10 weird differences, then keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. So by the way, if you see me constantly looking down, it's because I wrote down everything down in my little notebook just because I know I'm going to forget everything. And if you hear like ruckus in the background, it's because it's literally snowing right now and my brother is, I think he's shoveling, so. Okay, so the first weird difference that I noticed when I went to the Philippines were the malls. Let me tell you guys, the Philippines takes malls super, super seriously. I'm gonna insert some pictures in here of what the malls look like. Okay, so if you're from America, then you're probably aware that the malls here usually just consist of shopping stores and food courts. Well, in the Philippines, it is three times bigger. And the malls there consist of gyms, grocery stores, movie theaters, and even in some malls, they have churches inside of that. Like, can you guys even imagine having a church inside your mall? Like, that is insane. And I remember going to the mall for the first time in the Philippines and I immediately fell in love. There were so many stores. There was an arcade in the third level. Like It was just so much fun. Like I just loved going to the mall there because there were so many things to do. And um, what I found out was that the Philippines actually holds three out of ten of the largest shopping malls in the world. So we have the Mega Fashion Hall of SM Mega Mall, which is the third biggest in the world. Then we have SM City North Edsa, which is the fourth. And then the SM Mall of Asia, which is the tenth. So I thought that was just super, super fascinating because I never even knew that the Philippines took malls like super seriously. But Okay, the second thing that I found weird in the Philippines was the cars. And what I mean about cars is that like the streets and like the roads. In America, everybody usually just follows the line and everybody follows the directions, well, some people. But you know, everyone's in a coordinated fashion. Everybody's going the same way, you know, people will make turns and make signals. But in the Philippines, oh my God. I have never been in like the worst traffic since I was in the Philippines. Like, it was insane. Like, there would be lines. Like, you could tell that there's lines, like, of the roads and of the streets where the cars are supposed to go into. But no, no one pays attention to that because people will literally squeeze through the, like, the tiniest crack to just cut you in. And it was just really crazy because, like, you could see, like, there, people aren't even in straight lines. There are people going from like left to right and it was just insane. Like I was I was getting like a slight anxiety attack because it was just too much and everybody was just so close to each other. Like your cars would be this close to one another and like it's normal there. So the third thing that I thought was kind of weird was um, crossing the streets. So in America, you know, people will usually give you way and some, you know, some ignorant people won't, but usually most of the time people will give you way if they if they see you walking, like, they'll obviously stop um, or, like, let you pass. Um, in the Philippines, no, it's not like that. You literally have to run because people just don't care. People will literally, like, speed up. Um, there are, like, um, speed limits there, but I don't, I, like, literally didn't find anybody following the speed limit rule. Um, everybody was just kind of just rushing. So you really just have to be careful when you're crossing the streets, and there's so many people crossing the streets so it's also dangerous when you drive because literally there's someone walking in the middle of the street like every like 10 15 seconds like it was crazy but um yeah i thought that was just different i mean i know in new york like people will cross the streets but people will still stop like there you just really have to be careful okay so on to number four since we're kind of still talking about streets and cars and stuff like that 
Um, there are things in the Philippines called jeepneys, which are basically like a form of transportation. It's kind of like um, like the bus or a taxi, but it's basically a really big jeep. And these were actually born from thousands of army jeeps that the US military left during the World War II. So a lot of Filipinos just basically recycled them and they used them as a form of transportation which was way cheaper than using a taxi there. I mean, they still obviously had taxis and cars and stuff like that and buses, but I found that a lot of people use jeepneys because they were cheaper and you sort of just go in there, you jump on like the back of the jeep and there's no set routes. Like you kind of just go on the ride and if you see that you're near the destination you're at, you just ring the bell you pay the coin and you're good to go um, so yeah I thought it was kind of different like we don't have anything like that here I mean we have trains and I didn't really see any trains at all when I went to the Philippines so I guess that would be like an alternative I don't know so that was just really weird for me because I've just never seen that before especially here in the United States like don't see that at all like here we have Uber and Lyft and taxis and buses. Like we have so many forms of transportation and they're just really creative over there. Like they recycle Jeeps as transportation. Like that's so cool. Okay, so moving on to number five, it is actually street foods. So um, not that this is weird or anything, but I just thought it was weird to me because there is literally street food almost everywhere you go when you're walking down the streets in the Philippines. And I thought that was kind of interesting because here where I live in like the United States, I live in New Jersey and there's literally, it's really rare to find any street foods. In fact, I don't even think we have any unless there's like a special event going on in the town or there's a festival or something like that. Like there's really rare times where we sell street food. So I thought that was kind of interesting. It was weird to me because everywhere you go, people would just be selling like fruits and vegetables on the streets or like fried foods on the streets. Like it was just really cool. So the next thing that I thought was weird was actually this thing called dirty ice cream. And I know like when you first hear it, it's like dirty ice cream, like that's kind of gross. Like that was my first initial thought when my mom was telling me like, oh, go get some dirty ice cream. So what dirty ice cream basically is, it's made from coconut milk and it's mixed in with any local Philippine fruits. It's sold on like a little cart, like a man will usually just like roll his cart around like the city and he will just ring a bell and that's how people would know that there's dirty ice cream on the street. And it's not actually dirty, it's called dirty because it's kind of like a mom's warning to a kid who wants ice cream that's being sold on the street. So I thought that was just a really cool concept. I remember having it for the first time and it was really, really good. It's super creamy. It's kind of like, um, it kind of reminds me of gelato that we have here in America. But yeah, I thought that was weird because in America, we don't have dirty ice cream. We have like ice cream trucks. So like obviously when you hear like the music of an ice cream truck, like you know to run up to the ice cream man who sells ice cream in his truck, which is, like, if you think about it, that's kind of weird too, but um, that's what I was used to when I'm here in America, but I thought that was kind of like an interesting twist in the Philippines because they don't have ice cream trucks, they have dirty ice cream. The seventh thing that I thought that was weird was actually soft drinks, and um, I know you're probably thinking, like, why is that weird, but um, this also involves street food. So soft drinks in the Philippines, like, when you're like walking down the street and they're selling it on the street they usually will sell it to you inside a plastic bag and I thought it was kind of like weird and sketchy at first because like obviously when you buy soda here in America it's canned or bottled so I don't know I thought it was just kind of weird and different but yeah they'll basically just sell it to you in a plastic bag and they'll give you a straw and you basically just Pop the plastic bag and you sip it from the straw. But the eighth weird thing that I found was toilets. And what I mean by toilets is public restrooms. So in America, public restrooms, they'll obviously be in a stall, you'll have a toilet, and you'll be able to flush, and you have hand soap, and be able to wash your hands and stuff like that. In the Philippines, a public restroom 
consists of a stall, a toilet that's like really, really low. There is no flushing system. It's literally just a toilet with an open hole to the ground. And you basically just do your business. You first enter the bathroom stall. There is a huge bucket of water. It's almost like the size of a garbage bin, but it's filled with water. There's a little bucket inside, so you basically take that bucket, you scoop it with a bunch of water, and you use that water to flush down whatever you did in the, in the bathroom. So I thought that was really, really weird. So yeah, I thought that was kind of weird. I mean, obviously in America, you'll still have like a flushing system and you'll still be able to wash your hands. And even though the public bathrooms here aren't like the cleanest, it sure isn't like the Philippines. And I'm not trying to bash them. It's just that I felt super unsanitary after that, but it's fine. I live. Okay, the ninth thing that I wanted to talk about that was weird. I mean, it's not really weird because it's actually really cool and I wish we had it in America. And it's the movie theaters. So, I mean, we have movie theaters in America. But I'm talking about price range. So, in America, usually movie tickets will range from like $12 to $15 to $16. It's crazy expensive. Sometimes I don't even want to go to the movies because it's that expensive. And you're literally just paying $16 to watch like a two hour movie. But in the Philippines, the movie theaters, um, again, are inside the malls. So they are huge. They are air conditioned. They, the seats are really, really nice. It's just, it just looks really nice. And the tickets are $5. So obviously it's a big difference between American dollar and Philippine pesos just because of the currency. But I just thought it was really weird. But at the same time, it's super cool. And I wish we had like lower movie ticket rates in the United States because honestly, it sucks going to the movie theaters knowing that it's like $15 to $16. And in the Philippines, it's just so much cooler. Like the food options there are even better. Like. Are you serious? Like, who sells rice at the movie theaters? And the tenth and final thing that is weird that I found out, but I think it's super, super cool, and it's actually the flag. So, as you may know, this is the flag of the Philippines. And I actually knew about this a while back, but I wanted to mention it, and I wanted it to be the last because I thought it was super cool. And it's actually like the flag colors of the Philippine flag. It actually indicates a message. So in the Philippines flag, when the red stripe is on top, that means the nation is in a state of war. And when it's peacetime, the blue stripe is on top. So obviously it's going to be the blue stripe on top at the moment. But I just thought that was like a really cool thing to know. Like we don't have that at all with our flag. It's literally just... The same old same old flag but I thought that was really cool so I didn't know that at first and I wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was just really like an interesting fact to know anyways guys that is the end of the video I know this was super super random it's like completely not what I even put on this channel but I thought I just wanted to do it because I've seen this video just roam around on YouTube and I just wanted to like be a part of it so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed some 10 weird, interesting facts and just weird differences between America and the Philippines. And I hope you guys learned a little something new. I sure definitely did when I was researching a lot of these things. So yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I will see you in my next video. Bye!